Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get paid work as a video game music composer. So earlier this week, I made a post on Facebook in the VGM Academy group offering a secret formula for more paid VGM work in 2019. It got a lot of response. So let me show you that really quick. I put this in the VGM Academy group and I'm just gonna read it off for you just so you can kind of get the context of what we're talking about here today. It's a four step process for getting work immediately. It's for getting work as fast as possible, real work, real relationships. Let's jump into the good stuff. Here we go. Number one, search hashtags for screenshots, find gifts of games that you love. You can use different hashtags for that. One of my favorites is screenshot Saturday. Number two, you direct message the developer. You give a compliment of the game. You say that you are a music composer of blank kinds of games. Basically, you're gonna state your micro niche here and offer to write one track free to use in their game or for their promotion of the game. Step three, if the dev responds yes, write the track, do an exceptional job and send it back quickly. That means 24 hours, you should have this thing done, send it back while they still have your attention. Record a quick 30 second or less video of your talking head, of your face, just do it from your phone, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Say how much you were inspired by the game and how much you enjoyed contributing to their project, even in a small way. Offer to score more of the game if they're interested. Notice that we did this completely free, we're not asking for any money, but then now we're going in for the sale because we provided extreme value. And step four, the developer is gonna reply back, blown away by your work and one of three things is gonna happen. A, they're going to hire you right now to score their game. B, they already have a composer, but they're gonna put your info at the top of their list because you have now created a, um, a relationship with them and they're gonna to wanna to hire you on their next project. Or C, they are going to refer you to one of their game developer friends. But in any case, you have now upgraded your portfolio. You have a new cool track, something that's recent that you can put all over your social media, et cetera, to just show that you're constantly working. You're gonna have a new credit and you're gonna have established new relationships with people you actually want to work with because you found them. So rinse and repeat this every day until you get paid work. For some of you, it will only take one time, but for others, it's gonna take 50 times, but this will work. So my encouragement to you today is to try this out. So in, in honor of transparency, we're gonna do this right now. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do because here's the truth. Within the last 48 hours, I've been doing this and I've been doing this for a while now, but specifically to prove a point, I did it a lot this past 48 hours and I've sent about 10 of these out and I already have two soundtracks. I've already been hired. That's pretty awesome. So what this is showing me and what this is proving is that there are fish ready to be caught, but no one is fishing. So they see a worm and they go after it. Guys, you should be fishing. This is one of the ways to get work. There are other ways to get work, but do this as well. This is a short-term way to get work. There's also long-term by creating content and marketing and all that fun stuff, branding, right? This is one of the best ways that you can very quickly get some paid work, especially for those of you who do not have paid work at the moment. So here we go. Let's jump in. I'm going to pick on Twitter because Twitter has a lot of game devs. You can do this on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, wherever. But specifically with Twitter, let's just try exactly what I suggested. Screenshot Saturday. Boom. Let's scroll down. Let's just pick a random game dev to show my point. Now, I am someone who is an expert of 2D games, specifically action platformers. That's something that I love to write for. I'm super inspired by the artwork and it's gonna be a genuine interaction. So let's just find something um, cool. I have not messaged these guys before. So here we are, this looks really cool. I love Game Boy stuff, I love retro stuff. So I'm gonna to go to this person's profile and I'm going to make sure that I am following them and then I'm going to hit message. Now look, I haven't talked to them before. So here's what I'm going to do. I've actually come up with a few different scripts that help with this process. Um, if you check the description below, you can download those scripts for free. 
and use them to your advantage and, and reword them in a way that makes sense for you. But you'll notice that if I switch over my screen here, you'll notice that I have three different scripts that I use. The first would be if it's someone I haven't met before, it's gonna be a DM directly. So it's a direct message. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. But let's say that that developer doesn't have, uh, they don't have their messages enabled. They don't want people that they don't know to message them. So then you're gonna have to tweet to them. And yeah, it's kind of exposing because you're doing this publicly. So that's why it needs to be really short. And that's why I have this one right here. And then if the developer does respond that they already have a composer, you might say something like this. Awesome to hear. My offer is still good anytime. If you'd like a free custom track, I look forward to following more of your game development. Pretty simple, right? And what that does is it plants the seed for future contact. And what's funny is um, that's super valuable because just earlier this week, um, when I was talking to a developer, I sent that exact message and then they got back to me just a few days later. That's all it took. They just needed a few days probably to check out my profile and probably to, to talk with their team and that kind of stuff. And, and now they're hiring me for their game. So don't feel like a no is a permanent no. It's a not now. So anyway, to this specific example, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to copy and paste my little script there. Again, download those. Use them to your advantage. I'm going to pop back over to this screen. I'm going to copy and paste. And then what I'll do is I'll replace that. So I'll say, hey, Sinclair Strange, I absolutely love your game art. I'm a 2D game composer. And, and what I would do right here, before I even go further, I would put some kind of compliment right here. Something that is very specific to their game. You don't ever want to just have a copy and pasted message. That's inhuman. We don't want just text. We don't want spam. No one wants that. Put something that's actually authentic. If this reminds you of a game that you love to play or a game that you've written in the past, whatever, put that in there and make it personal. Keep it short, but make it personal. So that's probably the second sentence I put right in there. And I always try to personalize it. And then you just tell them who you are, specifically what you're asking for. I'm a 2D game music composer and I would love to write a free track for your game title. And you can even put in game or for online promotion because a lot of times these developers already have a composer but they don't have music for their trailer. They haven't even thought about that. So that's just another avenue if you're into that or sometimes they wanna have multiple composers because it's a larger game. You never know, you just gotta ask. And then this last part, I love working with indie game developers and I sense a lot of inspiration here. So put something personal that really reflects that you're not just asking for work. You're literally trying to give value. You're trying to give them something that is beyond the music. Tell them how much you love the game because that just, that warms their hearts. That makes them feel so good that you really like what, they, what they're doing. And then the very end, here's some of my recent game music. Now you'll notice that this is a very specific link if you were to go to that, it has a demo reel of my 2D game music. And we've talked about this before, but I also do dramatic films, epic trailers, fantasy podcasts. I'm not sending them to those pages. I have a very curated page that has uh, five tracks from recent games that I've worked on, a quick little description, and that's it. They don't need anything else. It needs to be very short and sweet. And boom, you send that. And then as soon as they get back, Twitter's really good about uh, people getting back within 24 hours. Instagram's the same way. You just reply back. And if we go back to the original uh, Facebook post here, just so you can put this in the framework, we've now gone through one and two. So again, if the developer responds, step three, they say, yeah, sure, I'd love that. You write the track, you do it really quickly. Just get it done, find three hours tonight, whatever, and write it because a demo, should be a real track, but most of the time for video games, people just want a minute of music that loops. You can do that in three hours and maybe you take a little bit longer and it takes you a full day, whatever. Um, the whole point is you wanna make sure that that gets to them as quickly as possible. And then you just go throughout the rest of this process. Now this last part is super important because you do want to record a quick 30 second or less video that makes you a human. You don't wanna have an entirely text conversation even if it's email, whatever, you wanna make sure that your talking head, they can see your face, they can see your enthusiasm for the project. That is what will actually sell. They want your personality. They don't just want the product, which is the music. If you do that, it's, it's gonna be a transactional relationship. It's, it's just gonna be a, 
um, a one-time thing where they just hire you once, but what we're trying to do is create relationships that last beyond one project. And you want them to refer you to their friends. So that's why this is super powerful. Try this out, guys. That's it. That's the entire process. You can knock out five of these, 10 of these, 15 of these every day. And if you seriously start to get back these responses and you're writing these tracks, it's only going to help you. It's going to build your portfolio. It's going to make sure that you are building a portfolio, you're staying busy, and you're creating amazing relationships. And before I get a flood of hateful, of hate mail and, and bad comments, I am not giving away music for free. I don't want you to think that. What I'm actually doing is I'm exchanging a free track is how we're branding it. I'm exchanging a free track for a foot in the door to impress somebody. Because when you really wow somebody, price no longer matters. Then you can negotiate with your rate and you can figure it out to work with their budget. But you are getting real credits the fastest way possible. And this is the beauty of the internet, the beauty of social media, the beauty of hashtags, and just connecting with people in a way that you otherwise not be able to. And that's basically it. So try it out. I really want to hear as you guys try this, how this goes for you. So I'm excited. Chat with you later.